1931 ging bei DKW der F1 als erster Pkw mit Frontantrieb in Großserie. Es war eine technische Pioniertat. Bei Untersuchungen vor Einführung einer neuen Modellreihe müssen sich die Vorteile des Frontantriebs damals wie auch noch heute immer wieder erneut beweisen und durchsetzen. Das seit dieser Zeit investierte Wissen und Können der Ingenieure und Techniker führte zu einer der wichtigsten Lösungen des Frontantriebs. Die beim angetriebenen gelenkten Rad auftretenden Kräfte und deren Einflüsse auf Lenkung und Federung werden heute bei Audi vorbildlich beherrscht. Neue Federbeinlager vorn steigern den Abrollkomfort. Federn und Stoßdämpfer sind optimal aufeinander abgestimmt. Ein Drehstabilisator vorn und der als Stabilisator wirkende Körper der Torsionskurbelachse hinten verringern in Kurven die Seitenneigung. Der 1972 von Audi erstmals vorgestellte spurstabilisierende Lenkrollradius gehört heute zum Standard technisch hochwertiger Automobile. Mein Name ist Carsten Jablonowski und ich bin verantwortlich für die Chassis-Charakteristics der larger Audi Model. The attribute well-balanced aptly describes one feature of our chassis as we try to set them up to provide both comfort as well as drive dynamics. We define early on during the concept phase how an Audi has to drive and determine this in criteria that are objectively and subjectively perceptible. Objectively to make them measurable and ultimately subjectively because at the end of the day this is what the driver feels. In the past, cars were fitted with significantly less technology. The requirements on comfort were simply different then. Ein Drehstabilisator vorn und der als Stabilisator wirkende Körper der Torsionskurbelachse hinten verringern in Kurven die Seitenneigung. Today, this is done with chassis control systems fitted here in the form of active roll stabilization, re-steering and sports differential. This enables us today to provide even better and more drive experience than was the case in the past. For us, it is important that information about the driving status is available to all suspension control systems at lightning speed. Today, this is done via the electronic chassis platform that we are continually developing further in the direction of longitudinal dynamics. And we'll see another control unit coming to have even more systems integrated together. Blaubasalt, Nässe, glatte Fahrbahn, sicher zieht der Frontantrieb durch die Kurve. Schleudergefahr, aber nicht für Auto-Union. Sehen Sie selbst. Auto-Union DKW Junior. Technik im Dienste Ihrer Sicherheit. He's from England and he's the best in the business. I'm Ed Sinclair, the director of a VIP chauffeur company. I'm here to test the new Audi A8 on behalf of my clients. And here's the new flagship from Audi, the new A8. Wow, fantastic build quality. I just can't wait to drive it. Eddie chauffeurs all the big names. Google founder Larry Page is just one of his VIP customers. Eddie's experience is also highly valued by the developers at Audi. First though, he has a small challenge in store for him. Victor Underberg, head of development at Audi for Vehicle Dynamics, has come up with a tricky task for Eddie. The water must stay in the bucket. It's not as much pressure as driving Johnny Depp, I don't think. I'll, I'll give it my best shot. Eddie always drives his VIPs in the Audi A8, and he's totally familiar with the Vehicle Dynamics. That's why today's test features a very special customer, a bucket of water. This is high pressure. Eddie has to do an entire lap, and that requires great dexterity and sensitivity. 
After the final corner, he's done it. Great job. Now we can have some fun. You can speed up. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> and Eddie's already switching from comfort mode to dynamic mode. Immediately the suspension is firmer and the gear changes are a bit more sporty, more snappy. With lots more pace and momentum, Eddie goes into the right-hand corner. And then it happens. Yes, task fulfilled. We've kicked the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just the start of it. Okay, Eddie, now we have the next challenge. Thank Please you. put the cigar on the dashboard and the task is that the cigar doesn't roll and move while driving. Okay. So if I win the challenge, I can keep the cigar. Exactly. It feels like it's on rails. A really beautiful, smooth drive through corners. It's exactly what you want as a chauffeur. One final corner and success. It's the checkered flag. Congratulations. Now you can smoke it. <laughs> Put it in my pocket. Eddie, thank you for the convenient driving. Now we change roles and then I drive you. At last, Eddie can be the guest of a VIP. And now things are definitely off-road. Bumpy dirt tracks to make sure he experiences realistic conditions. It's beautiful, fantastic interior quality. We drive a range of VIPs. They all have different expectations, but their primary expectation is comfort. It's a, a little bit like being on a magic carpet. You know, it's very, very smooth, very little interference from the road. You can still sense the road. You feel connected to the road, but it's a, it's a, it's a really lovely, smooth ride with minimal roll. Eddie Sinclair could stay in the A8 forever, but time's up. Will the new Audi A8 be up to the standards of its VIP customers? This passed my chauffeur test. Our VIPs will love this car. I'm looking forward to driving them in it. Das Fahrwerk im Detail. Radführung an der Vorderachse mit je vier Querlenkern. Fahrdynamisch optimierte Elastokinematik. Stabilisiertes Eigenlenkverhalten. Lenkachse nahe dem Radmittelpunkt zur Neutralisierung von Antriebseinflüssen. Neu abgestimmte Hinterachse mit Verbundlenkern bei Frontantrieb bzw. Doppelquerlenkerkonstruktionen beim Quattro. Abschirmung des Aufbaus von komfortmindernden Schwingungen durch großvolumige Gummilager und steifen Hilfsrahmen an der Vorderachse. Außergewöhnliches Komfortniveau als Summe von überragenden Lenk- und Federungseigenschaften.
the Arctic Circle in northern Sweden. Timo Strutz and his team are preparing the test car. For the first time, the engineers will check whether the complex electromechanical chassis works smoothly at temperatures below minus 30 degrees Celsius. The chassis and electronics of the new Audi A8 are implanted in its predecessor. This is common practice in automotive development, as the use of so-called technology carriers means that test vehicles are available at an early stage of development, and these cars do not need to undergo expensive camouflage. The car that already cooled down in the night is driving out of the garage. This low rider show is in fact a serious inspection of the car's suspension systems. All functions of the chassis must work reliably on the test site. It may look funny when we make the car bounce, but this is a test sequence that allows us to keep the vehicle repeating the same movements. We can examine how the currents, the acoustics or dynamics change due to the cold. The chassis control of the A8 is technically very complicated. Due to the high voltage of 48 volts, the electronic components react in a flash. The front camera detects bumps at an early stage, and the chassis controls react accordingly unnoticed by the passengers. Even wobbling movements of the car, for example in curves, are compensated by the system at lightning speed. Since each wheel is controlled individually, Audi is able to offer a feature that reduces the consequences of a side impact by raising the body on the affected side. This multitude of safety-relevant technology is tested during endless test drives in all climatic areas of the world until everything works reliably in all conditions. In addition, the vehicle must not make any strange noises. The main purpose of this track is to detect any noise in the area of the suspension or the axles. This may be a squeaking or some kind of breathing noise from an air spring or damper, or even from our actuators. Car manufacturers are testing numerous aspects with their new vehicles at temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. It looks like a lot of fun, and it really is. But beyond all that, the four-wheel drive of the A8 is being tested. At 7 o'clock in the morning, Ferdinand Hartinger and his team configure the car systems in the garage. After that, the prototype has to drive in the icy desert and prove that its complex technology works perfectly even under these extreme conditions. And how does it feel when you count the steer? The rear seems quite stable. The steering parameters are adjusted repeatedly until the developers are happy with the result. Our customers will be surprised by the maneuverability of the vehicle. It doesn't feel as if they were sitting in such a big car, but it gives them the agility and the maneuverability of smaller vehicles. That's the great thing about it. In such situations, there is a function that turns the rear axle steering to zero, so that the rear of the vehicle can be handled very precisely and predictably by the driver. Another development goal here in the far north of Europe is the perfect coordination of all driving stability systems. When does the ESC start to intervene? Does the Quattro drive react as desired? And do the systems communicate flawlessly with each other? And how do the electronic components react to the Arctic cold? The central computer alone, the ZFAS, which bundles all the software of the driver assistance systems, is uncharted territory altogether.
Aí faz. As a series option, we offer a RS sport suspension with an improved damping, which is by 15% stiffer than its uh, similar suspension in the S5. As an option, we offer the RS sport suspension with dynamic ride control, which is helping us improve or better control uh, the rolling and the pitching of the car. The dampers of the front and of the rear axle are cross interconnected with oil lines and the oil flow between the dampers is controlled uh, via valves so we can control really correct the amount of rolling and of pitching. These dampers are also uh, adjustable in three stages with the uh, help of the Audi Drive Select. We offer as a base option an electromechanical power steering with an RS specific tuning. As an option we offer the RS specific dynamic steering. This has the feature of uh, varying the steering ratio by 100% depending on the chosen drive mode, the speed and uh, the steering angle. This steering system also offers the advantage of being able to assist the driver when needed, for example, by counter steering on loose surfaces, when braking on loose surfaces with different um, coefficients of friction. In the dynamic mode of the steering, we have chosen to keep the steering ratio constant so that the driver has um, better feedback and better uh, control of the car, more predictability, and then ultimately be able to drive faster. For the RS5, we offer now also the RS1 and the RS2 mode, like they are known, for example, from the RS6. The RS1 and the RS2 mode are individual modes which can be configured with the help of the MMI display. The settings are stored and can then be um, switched between them with the help of a button on the steering wheel. By pressing the button, you will toggle between the RS1 mode, the RS2 mode, and the last driven drive select mode. 